Are you tight on space or planning on upgrading your craft room? In this video, I'm going to show you how to make more creative space available for you to work on. That gives you multiple options and configurations for your sewing, cutting or crafting table needs. This is a game changer. So let's get started. Hey, gifted crafters, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are tuning in for the first time, my name is Nancy with Gifts HQ. I have something exciting I want to show you. In my previous video, I've been remodeling my craft room and I wanted to add a craft table, but like many of you, I have limited space. So I did a little research and I decided this foldable table would be the best option for what I had in mind. And if you didn't notice, I used this table in my last Valentine's Day decorations video. You guys have probably already seen these tables because they are quite common. And I'm sure there are other videos out there that'll show you all the bells and whistles on why this is such a great table. But I want to show you something a little different that helps me work a little smarter. When I was researching on how to remodel my craft room, I made a list of features that I would love to have. And one of those items was the ability to get a craft table that gives me multiple configurations. But with my limited space, it was a challenge. Then we came up with an idea that would work. I got this table at Michael's, but you can also find it on Amazon and many other locations. So shop around and pay attention to the size that'll work for you. You can also find deals from time to time and I'll post them on our social media sites. So make sure you're signed up for that. This table is pretty neat and its clever design makes it multifunctional. It collapses and folds on both sides to give it a smaller footprint. It has two baskets for added storage, which allows me to store away some items. And it moves around well with the wheels below. You can tuck it away when it's not in use or by itself, it's a good sewing or crafting table. As you've seen in my last video, I used my table to show you the crafts that I've made. But sometimes I need a larger cutting surface for my fabrics, or at times I just want open space. Now I did say I have limited space. So here's my crafting table tip. Not only did I buy one folding craft table, but I've purchased two with some latches and extra screws. So you're probably thinking, why would she get two tables and some latches? Well, I'm going to show you how you can double up your crafting surface for any project. I'll also show you how I applied the latches and finally, how you can make different configurations that'll work in your small space with this quick little tip. Let me show you how. Here are some measurements to make my case. So please bear with me. This is for my table. So check measurements because they may vary. Each table when fully extended measures 51 and a half inches long by 23 and a half inches wide or about four by two feet. Now, when I combine the two, it takes about four by four feet or about 16 square feet. The room that I'm in is 10 by 10 or 100 square feet. So if I had a standalone table at those dimensions, it would take up quite a lot of space permanently. Now, here's how I saved some space. When the sides are folded down, each table measures only about 17 inches by 23 and a half inches, or roughly one and a half by two feet. Combined, that's two by three feet or six square feet. It's a savings of 10 square feet. That's like having an extra five by two foot table in your home. The key to being able to do all this is with these latches that I purchased from Amazon. These latches are installed on the bottom of the table's edges with small screws. Make sure that these screws are small enough not to go through the table when fastened. It also helps that you drill pilot holes at first. The latches hold the tables together and make them into one. No slipping or moving around, just like a single larger table. Now here's a bonus. Not only am I saving space, but now I can put these tables to use with different configurations. This is a game changer because now your table fits the needs of each project 
and you're not limited to a permanent furniture configuration. Using this tip, you now have the freedom to set up your station that will best fit your needs. Let me show you a few different setups that worked for me. You can have a large square surface like this, This is great for when I'm cutting fabric. You can have a large rectangle or buffet style. This can be great for measuring long items. Or here's an L-shaped configuration. So you can sew and have an ironing station nearby. And here's a sitting desk configuration. That I plan to use when I start my live stream videos. So as you can see, there are a lot of different ways that you can configure your table. Let me know in the comments below of any other configurations that you think will be useful. This doesn't just have to be for crafting. This is perfect for someone who works from home or needs a larger working space that can be stowed away later. It can be used in almost every room in your home, from the bedroom to the living room, and helps you take full advantage of the space you have available. I hope this video was helpful in showing you creative ways to maximize your space. If you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Also remember to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. Thanks again for tuning in and I hope to be crafting with you soon. Bye.